Hey guys, in this video we learn how to create beautiful landscapes using Terrain System in Unity 2020. So let's get started. Before we start, we're gonna need three major things for our terrain. Number one, terrain textures. Number two, tree meshes. And number three, grass textures. So for the terrain textures, I'm gonna use this outdoor ground texture pack. For the trees, I'm gonna use this conifer tree pack. And for the grass textures, I'm gonna use this grass flower pack. All these assets are available free on Unity Asset Store. Alright, I have opened up Unity and downloaded all three assets. This is our textures, this is tree pack and this is grass pack. So let's start creating terrain. To create a terrain, just right click, go to 3D object and choose terrain. And this will create a large terrain without any textures. If you want to change the width and length of this terrain, go to settings. And here you can define the width and the length of this terrain. For now I keep everything to default. Next to create any kind of shape, we need to sculpt this terrain. So for that, go to paint terrain section and in the raise or lower terrain section. Here you can choose different kinds of brush to sculpt our terrain. Let's say choose this brush and here you can choose the brush size and the opacity which is basically the strength of this brush. Then to sculpt the terrain, simply click the mouse button and drag. Let me turn off the light so that you can see it better. And you can see our terrain start shaping. You can also use shift click to lower the terrain. Here I want to mention some new updates in new terrain system. Here you can see we only have few options and also our brushes are very limited. Unity has released a new complete set of tools for advanced terrain creation. To implement that package, go to package manager and search for terrain tools. Just click on the terrain tools and click on install. And also click on this download sample asset from asset store. In the sample asset pack, we will find some additional brushes to sculpt our terrain. So I click open in Unity, then select this terrain tool asset pack and click on import. As you may have known, in Unity 2020, Unity has moved the asset store to the browser. So now in order to download any asset, first you need to search the asset on the browser, then download the asset via the package manager. So that's why I'm using the package manager to import this asset. And now you can see after implementing the terrain tools, now we have some advanced options to sculpt our terrain and we also have a few more brushes which is very nice. Next I go to the set height option and here I choose the height of 100 meters and click on flatten tile. This will raise your terrain to 100 meter height and also flat everything so that we can start sculpting again. Now I again go to the raise or lower terrain section and here I want to mention a few shortcuts. If you press A you can increase the strength of this brush. If you press S, you can increase or decrease the size of this brush. And if you press D, you can rotate the brush. These are quick shortcuts that are very helpful in terrain creation. So now I have choose uh, this brush and first I increase the size and then start sculpting. Okay, I think the sculpting is done. So let's start texturing our terrain. So to add texture to the terrain, select on the brush and go to the paint terrain section and go into the layer. And here you can add multiple layers of texture for this terrain. So for now I simply click on add layer. And these are some of the basic layer that comes with the terrain tool package. Just select any layer and it will automatically apply the texture for this terrain. To edit the parameter of this texture, click on this layer and here you can change diffuse, normal and mask map of this texture. For instance, right now I think the norm map is too high, so I set the norm map scale to 1. As you can see, it's now it's looking much better. To remove the layer, just simply select the layer and choose remove layer. You can also use your own grass texture for this terrain. So to create your own layer, in the create new layer section, choose the name you want and click on create. And now this will ask you to choose your texture. For instance, I choose this texture. And as you can see, this has applied this texture to the ground. And as you can see, this has created your grass texture as an asset, which you can easily move between different projects. So next, I'm going to add norm map to my texture. So here in the norm map section, select the normal map. Okay, so now we have normal map. You can also add additional map and change the metallic and smoothness if you want. For now I keep everything to very low. 
next i go to hierarchy right click and create a 3d cube and move this object onto this terrain and then set the y scale to 2 so why i have created this cube basically this is a cube of 2 meter height that will give me an idea of a normal human height so whenever you are working with terrain make sure to add a dummy object that will give you an idea of human height this way you will maintain a proportion between the textures and trees of your terrain so from now on i will create everything according to the proportion of this tube next i'm going to choose my grass asset and change this normal map to 5 because i think right now it's too much okay so let's add another texture to the terrain simply select the terrain and in the paint terrain section and this time i'm going to create my ground and click on create and this time i'm going to choose a ground texture then click on this layer and also add normal map to this texture so now i'm going to create a path on this terrain so for that first i'm going to reduce the size of my brush press s and drag to reduce the size okay then select this ground layer and simply print on the terrain and you can see how easily it painted the textures I also enable the light so that I can have a better idea of my texture. Next I'm going to add one more layer of texture. So this time I click on add layer and choose this screen layer for some more details. Then select the layer and paint along the path. You can see it's not looking good at all. So select the layer. First of all reduce the normal scale to 1 and also tile size to 10 by 10 or maybe 5 by 5 and as you can see this will add some more detail on your path and here you start painting this brush so I choose uh, this noise brush and also reduce the strength of my brush and start painting along this path to add some more details Then again I choose my ground brush and paint to bring back the path texture on some areas. Alright I have created a very basic path on this terrain. So it's time to add some trees on this terrain. To add trees on this terrain go to the tree section. And here you need to define your tree model. So I click on add tree and choose add tree. And here I choose the conifer model which we imported from asset store. And click on add button and simply click to add trees. Okay, it's very easy. You can also reduce the density if you want fewer trees to spawn just like that. And to remove the trees just press ctrl and drag your mouse to remove the trees it's very easy you can also use this mass place trees to quickly assign trees to the whole terrain simply click on this button and here you define the number of trees you want and i don't want to keep my existing trees so uncheck this box and hit place and voila it has placed trees all over the terrain And here you can see some trees are spawned in the path. So to remove them, reduce the brush size and press control and click to remove those trees. Let's add one more tree mesh. So this time I choose this one. Click on add and add in these trees in between. And as you can see, I am pressing the control and trying to remove these trees, but I can't because in order to remove this tree, first you need to select this tree preset and then press control to remove this particular tree. And I also go to the lighting setting and in that environment section, enable the fog to add some fog in our terrain. And our scene is looking much better than before. And if you go to the terrain setting, 
and you can enable or disable this draw option to temporarily hide all the trees of this terrain. It's time to add some grass on our terrain because without grass, the terrain looks empty. To add grass on this terrain, go to this paint details section and same like trees, first you need to assign your grass prefab. So click on edit detail and here you can add two types of grass object. The first one is grass texture which is basically a grass texture with transparency on it and in the second option you can assign a actual grass mesh. So let's first choose this grass texture and here you can choose your detail texture. So here you can choose any kind of texture you want. For example let's say I choose this one and here you can define the width and height of this grass object but for now I keep everything to default and just simply click on add then simply click on drag to add grass on this terrain. You can see you can easily spawn grass on this terrain. But there is a problem with this grass this is not looking realistic. So I again go to edit details and click on edit and here you can edit your grass texture. So first I want to change the color because this is the color I definitely don't want. And also change the dry color to actually match the color of this terrain. And also reduce the width and height of this grass. Minimum to 0.2 and maximum to 0.5. Like 1 and 0.5. Okay. Click apply. And the good thing about this grass texture is that you can go to edit. And here you can choose any kind of texture and it will instantly update in the editor. So here you can choose any kind of grass texture you want. For example, this is also looking good. You can choose different kinds of flowers. Obviously you need to adjust the width and height. Let's say I choose this one which is looking much better. And click on apply. And now just click on drag to add grass. And to remove the grass, same like press control to remove the grass. Let's add one more type of grass. Again go to the paint detail section. Click on add grass texture. And this time let's choose this flower texture. Click on add. Then select this flower texture. And this time I'm reducing the opacity. Because I don't want this flower to spawn everywhere. Uh, right now it's not looking natural but don't worry you can edit it anytime. So you can easily change the texture. Just go to edit. But first uh, let's set the, change the color. Okay and also the height. And you can now try different kinds of textures. Okay let's skip this one. So that's how you can use grass texture to spawn grass. So let's see how we can use an actual grass mesh to spawn grass on this terrain. So for the grass mesh I have imported few prefab which are basically from the flooded ground pack. I will give a link in the description where you can download this package. So this package has some uh, nice grass mesh texture. So as you can see this is an actual mesh. So let's see how we can use this grass mesh as a grass on this terrain. So again select the terrain, go to the paint detail section and this time Choose add detail mesh and click on object go to asset and this time we have these grass meshes to choose from. So I choose this grass small d and again adjust the colors and hit add. Select your grass here and start painting. And as you can see this is an actual grass mesh with an alpha texture on it even though it is not as optimized as this grass texture but this will give you much more detail in your grass so let's choose one more this time I'm going to choose this grass medium C select the grass and start painting To adjust the color go to edit and here you can adjust your grass color. And as you can see now we have a nice grass texture. And this looks much more beautiful than the plain texture. Even though you still not get any shadows from this grass object. Because the shadows from the grass details are not supported in Unity Terrain system. 
So as you can see this side we have the texture grass and this one is the mesh grass. So you can see the difference for yourself. The good thing about this grass system is that if you move your camera away from this grass, it automatically disappears, which provides better performance to this terrain system. So that's a quick overview of new terrain system in Unity 2020. If you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe the channel. And if you are looking for advanced tutorials, please give it a visit to my Patreon page. Patreon is a platform where you donate some amount on monthly basis and cancel anytime you want. By becoming a Patreon supporter, you get access to my advanced tutorials and project file of some of my videos. If you have any queries, you can always ask me in the comment section or join my discord server. And finally, I would like to thank all the Patreon supporters, especially Hannah Sinconan, Dimidu, Brendan Mannion, JB, Hongin, MJ Lee, Silas Renagal, Fubi Liu, Heath Close, Stephen Christine, Mamoru Yoshida, Kevin Catfee, and Stephen Shidro. So that's pretty much it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye bye.